Hey guys, John Rascal MC here with a couple guests. We're doing random gaming talk tonight. Uh, currently we're actually yeah. looking for some people to come and join in, uh, to come in and join with us, uh, so that we can have some special guests, you know, get you guys out there. Um, but so far it's just me, uh, Marcus, he's here. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, Jordan, he's here too. I'm not here. I'm not here. Well, the same three guys that's been doing RGT since, uh, what, two weeks ago? Something like uh -huh. that. Yep. Insert date of last time here. And we have one new guest here. His name is uh, Smithy. <coughs> yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Sorry. Smithy, why don't you tell them what you do as what far do? as video games go? <coughs> um, well, I don't play a lot of, like, video games like Call of Duty, stuff like that. I usually play stuff like Terraria and Minecraft. Because he's a cool kid. Everyone knows that. Fucking A. And another thing is my birthday is coming up on Monday. Yay. I already know what I'm not getting Johnny. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred bucks. What the Um Okay. So a couple topics that I got for tonight. I actually seriously sat down last night and I looked at some topics that I really wanted to do. Jordan, you definitely know one of the topics that I'm going to do because we were talking about it a couple days ago. Sure, why not? Is, okay. Server owners and admins, you know, they might just be starting out. They don't know anything about plugins or mods or anything like that. And they might use a big math map and they forget the backup and the shit gets grief. And they get really, really, really mad when... Let's say they can find out who did it, as in they catch them in the act, or maybe they did decide to pick up something where they can find pick up a plug-in or mod where they can find out uh, who did it and who didn't do it, and they found out who did it and they banned them. Well, if you have <laughs> a very extensive ban list like I do, maybe you want to get that out there to prevent like. Not to tell other server owners to ban these people, like... Dude, on the spot, you see them ban them. They're not good. Yeah, we're not... We don't want to do that. We don't want to be like, Um, these guys grief my server, so ban them immediately. No, that's we not what I'm trying to be to like. What I want to be like is I'm telling people, keep your see, eyes open for these people. If you see these people on your server, just what keep the an hell? eye on them. And... What I'm not understanding is why the Minecraft forums isn't allowing people to... Plus ban lists. Exactly. It's, um, <laughs> rule number five. Yep. Uh, no posting ban list slash griefer alerts. Um, that just, that doesn't make any sense. It's for the good of the of server owners, if they would realize that, but I really don't think they realize that. Maybe well, you know... You know, you know why it's like that. Why? Because that's why they designed a whitelist. Huh? That's true. That's, that's true. why well, they designed. What if you want your server to be public? List. Exactly. What? Then, like, then what you, if your like if your server's like mine's and the whitelist is just not working no matter what you do to it? What? If, what if your server's like that? What? What if um, like as like they say, what if your server's public? You don't want to go if you if you like have one of those uh like let's say you just found out about Minecraft you know you got an awesome computer like you got a crap load of RAM your internet connection is awesome you know so you just say okay I'm gonna open up a Minecraft server and try to make some money off it <coughs> or just for the fun of it you know and it and it can hold well my computer can handle a hundred people with no problem okay. You put your server out there, and you're like, um, let's say that you build a map board like you built a really awesome wait, wait, city. Wait, 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 Who the fuck is, like, chewing gum or something? Smithy, is that you? No, I don't chew gum. What is that noise? Oh, that candy wrapper that? type of noise? Yeah. Alex. That's why he just left. <sighs> okay. okay. Um, Sorry. Let's, like, okay, like, you made 
um, like a gigantic, awesomely big city map yourself, or you just went and downloaded one like I did for your server, Marcus, and, you know, someone came along and griefed it just to be a dick, and you're really mad about it. And let's say it, this is, keeps on just happening and happening and happening and happening, and you don't want to shut down your server because you already got a bunch of other happy people up here. I mean, they, they're probably even willing to help fix it while you're gone before you even find out. But, I mean, still, it's a good thing that we do have ban lists that we can at least let people know. And one of the other things that really pissed me off about this topic was, one of the moderators on the Minecraft forums was like, if you want to post ban lists, go get on, go get MC bans. I'm like... Compare the people who go on MC bands daily to the people who go on Minecraft, the, the Minecraft forums, hourly. See how it's much of a, a difference. It's a lot more. They go to the Minecraft forums. If you, I mean, I go on the Minecraft forums, like, every single day to check on, like, anything, updates, like, anything like that. I visit Minecraft forums at least twice Ugh. an hour when I'm not sleeping. My homepage is Minecraft forums. Who's phone? Well, there you go. The Minecraft forums. Uh, he's got it as his homepage, and I'm, I'm just not getting that. I mean, we're not ridiculing the people. Um, we didn't say that they use hacks. That they creep the crap out of the server. We're just saying, okay, here's our ban list. Watch out for these people. That's all we said. Like, not just say like, watch them like, and keep following them. <laughs> like a stalker. Yeah. yeah, just keep your eye on them. Make sure they don't grief. I mean, there's a difference between telling people to be careful and saying, okay, ban them immediately. Which is exactly what I'm trying see. to knock through their heads. But Bam, you see, Smith's bike, ban them. Now, go. <laughs> yeah. Do it, I dare you. <laughs> that's, so that's be like, name. why that's can't I get on any servers? I mean, I would, this is really just I bullshit. Rage. I really don't understand why they're doing stuff like this. It, 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 it really makes no sense, and it really pisses me off. I guess another reason as to why it doesn't really matter is if you have a good public server, you probably have Hawkeye and Rollback and... No, but I'm Rollback. saying, like, what if, like, what, like I just said, what if you're totally new to Minecraft... But, you know, you still know enough as far as single player goes that you were able to make that map and then upload it to your to your server. But at the same time, you don't know anything about plugins. Like, you just, you know, you either used a vanilla server or you used a, um, a bucket server that you might have gotten from your friend. Like, uh, like you might ask your friend who also plays Minecraft, like, hey, how do you set up a server? Oh, here you go. Here's the file for it. You know, just paste it in your desktop and you just go from there. But, you know, maybe they didn't add any plugins, that the, plugins with it because they thought that the person they were giving the file to knew, you know, a little something about plugins. But they didn't. Um, or, like in my situation, my server hosting, co hunk, hosting company shut down their um, MySQL for a security issue and they haven't started back up yet so I've been able to get LogBlock, Hawkeye, Big Brother or any sort of um, rollback protection I could only have World uh, World Garden and another thing too is yeah something like that happened or if a major update just happened like uh, you know you guys heard about 1.2.3 coming out for Minecraft all yep. plugins broke yep I can like I can start my server if I delete all my plugins, which is exactly what yeah. I did, I took, I, all my plug I took all my plugins out and I put them in a separate folder on my desktop. Then I started the server. Server started fine. I put the plugins in there. It won't even load 10%. Well, that's why you either keep the update, like the uh, current update, until the plugins are updated as well, or you just get the update and stop the server until the plugins are out. That's exactly what I did. I stopped my server because my hosting company doesn't have it set. So you put your whatever mine, the whatever jar you want in there for the server. It they just if you click um like craft bucket mod latest like not dev but the latest recommended build um they'll update it to the first one. 
I bet I, I, I probably would have to contact them and ask them to keep it on, like, ask them to put it on 1.1 for my server, but I, I, would, I don't know if they would do that. Main point is here, this guy, I mean, my admins, moderators, whoever runs the Minecraft forums or whoever controls it, consider it. Just consider adding ban lists. Or something where it allows you to notify like a forum. Yes. Like a sub forum. Go into server administration and there'll be a sub forum called banned. Yeah. Um ban like uh ban lists. That should be in server servers, administration. Or as grief it is. or allow. Or a grief or alert or something like that. Yeah. I mean like I said, you should at least put a rule in there under that sub forum that don't where like let's say rule number one is don't flame the people. Rule number two don't directly tell server owners to ban them. You can tell you can tell them that they did bad things, and the server owners can ban them on their own if they want to or not. But don't directly tell them to ban them, because some people will do that. And let's see what could be rule number three. Um, don't tell what they did on the server. You know, plain and simple. Just post the ban list as it is. Don't do anything else just with that. Just be all like, hey guys, you know, keep an eye out for these people if they come on your server. Or if you ever heard, of, heard about them being on your server. Uh, that's all about, that's all I really got to say on that topic. Um, Marcus, I don't know what Marcus is doing. Anything else you guys want to add on the topic? I'm just, I was letting y'all talk and everything before I got into it and... They're all in the kitchen because my computer's in the kitchen, so it's like wherever I'm at, everybody records that. But, like, what I was saying, though, is, like, the whitelist. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, for small-time people and bigger things, and you want to make a social list. But, I mean, that's why, in my opinion, that's why they made it. Because, I mean, if you're just going to run an open server and you're going to constantly get griefed and stuff like that, then my suggestion is, is just go ahead and kick in the whitelist. Keep your whitelist on for like a month or so, and then once you get everything reorganized and stuff like that, and the grievers realize that, hey, I can't get in here because it's whitelisted, they'll, event they'll stop trying, and then all you got to do is just remove the whitelist again. And then if it comes back again then you know or slowly add people one by one to the whitelist without letting them know that the whitelist is in effect and if they when you add the person in and if they start grieving then you know who it is and you can just ban them that to me is the would be the simpler way see yeah but it it, it doesn't some people just want people to just get copy the IP and put it in Minecraft and start playing. One or other things. Yeah, but you know what though, if you can't join and you, you can't join for a long time, then you're gonna get frustrated with it and you're gonna eventually delete the um um server IP and stuff. I mean you're not gonna keep trying to do it and stuff if you can't get into it. Um I mean, if I keep trying to get in a server and I can't get into it, then I just delete the IP and stuff and be gone, done with it. And I go sit here and clog my stuff up because, you know, you don't... Wow, that is a deep hole. Sorry. Um, you, you're not going to sit here... If I can add something onto this topic while Marcus is gone. Um... Like you were saying about the whitelist, uh, like kick it in for what, like a month, and then I'll throw the griefers off. Um, Jordan, do you remember the thing that I told you? Don't say it out loud, but do you remember the thing that I told you that I did that threw off griefers for like a good week? Mm hmm. You know, with the the, the, the last couple things. Yeah, yeah. I, know what you, I know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the problem with that is, like, some people don't have amazingly uber sexy computers. I'm that so can confused. Host it's it's a little thing that uh, Johnny did to throw off griefers every now and yeah. then. That that worked too. That I'm not eat like it because if some type of person like maybe a future griefer or current griefer is watching this right now, that's why I don't want to release this because so be like yeah. 
I'll be like, oh, he must have shut the server down because of me. Haha, <laughs> I'm so cool. You're not cool, bro. We have backups. Backups are cool, bro. Check it out. Follow me on Twitter. At awesome kid. Oh. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Backup pro. I'm good dead text message. What? Okay. <laughs> I was getting a text message. From your mom. Oh, no. Oh, shut the fuck up. Stafu, um, that, like I, I just don't agree with that. Having no of no ban list. They need to take it out, plain and simple. Or they need to add something where you can't add ban list besides MC bans. Um, but yeah. Okay. I want to finish hearing what Marcus had to say, but yeah, I want to. I want to skip forward. Like I just want to skip. Like you guys get from. I want to skip on to the next topic without. Uh, but I don't want to leave yeah. Marcus behind on this one. Oh no, you're fine. Finish what you want to say. I don't even remember because I got frustrated and. Frustrated. Uh, yeah. I guess we can skip on to the next topic then. Uh, who's ever been in a mod lobby on Call of Duty? Any Call of Duty? A mod at public lobby. Um, COD Four. Go play for fifteen minutes. I know about COD Four. COD Four. A little bit of World at War. A little bit of Modern Warfare Two. I haven't seen any on Black Ops. I think I saw one on Black Ops once. Um, it's zombies mainly. It's not. It's not um multiplayer. It's it's never it's never multiplayer. I remember when uh Black Ops first came out, they already came out with a. Wait, Johnny. If you go to my channel, you can go look. It's offline, but I actually have a modded zombies thing. Um. It's cool. Check it out. But uh, like six hours after Black Ops, they had um, a zombie hack. No, they had a 15th prestige hack. It wasn't a hack. It, they cracked it. it. Was they a cracked you could the do game. In combat training. Let's say that much. They cracked the game already six hours after. In six yeah. hours. Yeah. Um. For those that don't know, that didn't play Call of Duty in Black Ops, there was a thing that they had called combat training for the noobs that wanted to get good at the game. Or for um, people who wanted to let off steam. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> or if no. you don't want to let out steam owning those recruit noobs. Um, and so, like, they added this thing. And if you got to level 50, if you did something with your player card and, like, switch between player, like, online, then off, like, then combat training, and you did it, for, like, fast enough or in a certain order, you could prestige many, uh, multiple times without being level 50 online, and it would save. But everyone that did that was completely reset to level one and then it was patched the next three hours after that did anyone notice when um because i heard about when uh modern warfare 3 came out that call of duty xp wasn't even out none of the multiplayer well the multiplayer service was out but call of duty xp wasn't working when black ops came out the multiplayer service wasn't weren't working when Modern Warfare 2 came out, the multiplayer servers weren't working. When Battlefield 3 came out, the multiplayer servers weren't working. When a lot of those first-person shooters came out that had multiplayer servers, the release night, if they did have a release night, which I'm pretty sure almost all of them did, um, you know, the servers weren't working. And then, as far as I know, Modern Warfare 3 was the first one that I've heard of where the servers were working. They were very, very buggy. Um, there's a lot of button delay. There was a lot of things that were wrong. Hey, I got that. freaking Modern Warfare 3 a good month and a half after it came out. I had I got Modern Warfare 3 the day it came out, and it was it was um, pretty pretty shitty. I think the only game that I got the day that it came out was like uh, Black Ops, and it was almost 24 hours after it came out because it was at like 
it was dark outside. I don't recall exactly what the time was. I think it was it's three in the morning. Uh uh. <laughs> it was it was after I came home from. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait wait wait! I am playing Minecraft right now, and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. But it's like oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, it's that, like oh shit! <laughs> There was three creepers just staring at me, I, I, and I just fell, but I didn't die. Hallelujah. I'm holding for manager. Manager. Yeah, it's my girlfriend. But, um, what was I saying? It was, a. Uh, but there's three creepers sitting on a ledge, and they're just sitting there staring at me. I'm about to take a screenshot. Okay, I'm done. Um... I got uh, Black Ops the day that it came out, but it was like after I came home from school of release day that I decided to go out and get it. And it's two game stop actually, it's two game stops within a five mile radius of where I live, and one game stop within a ten mile radius of where I live. All of them had lines extending outside of the store. They had lines curving inside of the store. I was standing in line for probably a good thirty minutes because. They had a lot of modern, uh, they had a lot of uh, PS3 copies left over since everyone was picking up Xbox, so I got lucky that day, very very lucky. Um, when I first got it, I don't even think the fir the first thing I did, the first thing I did was I played zombies, then I played a little bit of the campaign. Then I still remember the first ever game I played was Gun Game, and I won. I still remember that game like the back of my head, uh, like the back of my hand too. My first game was a uh, um, free for all. And I remember. Uh, uh, did you win? I got second, but I got no deaths. Um. Wait, I have a question. When you first got any call or any FPS, the first thing you did, did you get a kill or did you die? I don't know. My first game of Modern Warfare 3 is on YouTube. You can check it out. It's got a lot of views. It's got almost 900 views or 800 views or something like that. I think Battlefield 3 is the only one where the first one I got was a death. Because... The mechanics are completely different than what yes. you expect. Yes, and Call of Duty, since the maps are so small, it took me a little bit of time to adjust to them. I mean, it, for all the maps, it'd probably take me about a good week of playing for me to be fully adjusted to the maps. But when I first start playing at FPS, I'll actually, like, you know, I'll go into a little bit of camper mode just so I can, like, observe the map a little bit. Um... Yeah. <laughs> and I remember it was the first game of the new year of 2011 that me and my friends did. It was a uh it was another gun game too and I won that too. So that was pretty good. First game of the new year. And it went awesome. But back on topic to hacking and Call of Duty. Jordan Did he fall asleep? Hold up. There's something wrong with the call. Fuck. 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 He says he's offline. Oh, yeah. He's... Fuck. He's connecting, apparently. No, he's offline. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? Is he using... Uh, laptop? Or a desktop computer. I don't know. You say, am I live streaming? I'm live streaming from a desktop. I don't know what he's doing. No, like, what was Jordan using? Oh, he's back. No, he's not. Or at least... Nope, now he's not. It said he was. My computer must be glitching out then. I was wondering if Jordan was using a laptop or a desktop. Because if he was using a, using a laptop, there's a chance it might have died on him. He's using a laptop. Well, on that note, <laughs> um, wow, really? No sheep?
I'm gonna try and wander around to find sheep so I can make a bed, but uh, evidently this game wants to be gay and not allow me to. Wait, what's happening? I was trying to find a sheep on Minecraft. Because for some reason I wanted to play Minecraft. I want to talk about something I found about three days ago in Minecraft, and it scared the crap out of me. Because Dude. I was mining, and all of a sudden I came into a uh, cave type area. But the weird thing was, I had never been there before. And everything, like, they were like it was like three perfect spheres and I was just confused because it was exactly perfect that's because it's random generated stuff and that happens sometimes oh well, yeah but I mean I, it's just a rare thing so I just was like whoa oh yeah there's Jordan fucking hell Jordan Glad you decided to join us. I have not in a call yet. Uh, my Skype crashed, sorry. And <laughs> it took you that long to get it back up? What happened? No, it, it was freak. Yeah, it was fritzing out. My computer almost crashed. Oh, wow. Um. Topic that we were on. I think we're done with that topic. What were we talking about? Who hates campers in Call of Duties? I haven't played it, but I do uh, hate campers a lot. Um, I camp myself, so I have no room to say anything. I only camp. In I don't camp until I be camped upon. Just like I don't tube until I am tubed upon. Yeah. Um, I've never played, so I have no opinion. Oh uh, yeah, person that only plays Minecraft in Tewaia. <laughs> um, to I play other games, but I just don't play the mainstream games. That rule. So you're an indie game player? Yep. Nothing. Keep going. You. Hipster. Yep. <laughs> I'm hipster when it comes to video games. Um. You are you a retro gamer? Yeah. Uh, yeah. As far as the rules go, like how Marcus just said, um, yeah, I don't camp unless I'm being camped upon or unless I'm playing Search and Destroy and I'm the last guy alive. But, bitch, I'd be camping that <laughs> shit up. <laughs> last person alive gets to stay there until there's two minutes left. Yes. This guy points yes. at himself. Um, <laughs> I am, I don't move because, and, I turn, like, say I'm in a party or something, or, like, I'm, there's a bunch of people, um, or, like, I'm in a private chat, I say, one second, do not say anything, and I turn my chat volume all the way down, because I'm using Turtle Beaches, and then I turn my game volume to, like, really high, I hear footsteps everywhere, it's, it scares the shit out of me. Like, back in, um, Mono for 2, when Sit, Sit Rep, Rep, I think it was, like, Sit Rep Pro, the shit was, like, thunder. Eye of Thundera. Um. What was I about to say? Um. Oh yeah, like you remember how in Black Ops, how if you put a, I hated Ghost Pro with a passion, but how if you put it, if you put a Ghost Pro on, how it gave you this uh, ghillie suit. Yeah. Um. That's kind of the topic. Uh, player visibility with anything. Like. It's hard to if see players for you me. have, if you're looking at the bitch, you should be able to hit him. N I don't know. I mean, like, seeing him, like, being able to get the hit on him first. Because I honestly have no problem with that. But other people do. Because, not trying to brag, but their TV might not be as good as everybody else's. Or they might be on, uh, what's it called, uh, what's the word, the RCA cables? The composite, yeah, the composite Ew. input, the component. I use an HDMI cable. I use cable. HDMI. I just picked up HDMI capture card for my birthday. I can't get over that. I, I can't get over that. I don't know what I'm going to get for my birthday. I might get, uh, I'm going to get like maybe 16 gigs of Thank RAM. You. 
I just picked up more flash drives and I use those as extra memory. If I pick a, if, let's see. 20. I'm gonna have like 30 gigs of flash drive memory allocated as actual memory. Actual, like, RAM memory. It's not gonna have the same performance, but it's definitely gonna speed my computer up. So, yeah. I'm ready for, I'm ready to get those up and running. Um. But yeah, dude, player visibility. It's alright in some games. It's a little yeah, broken. It's broken. In Call of Duty, it's a little broken. As in, it's fucking terrible. Ever played in Battlefield? Ooh, boy. <laughs> player, vis player visibility in Battlefield Bad Company 2 was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty damn good in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, as far as Battlefield 3, I'm iffy about that. I'm more on the... Th if it was, if I had to choose between good and bad, I would say I'm more on the good side. But like I said, I'm really, really, really iffy about that. Um, I wish I had Marx's opinion in this one. Where, where, where? Um, well, since we don't, and I guess we can come back to this when he comes back. <laughs> Hold on. She's on the <gasps> phone and she's grabbing a cigarette. She's trying to go outside, but she's not moving fast enough. I'm trying to go to the uh, to the range in Virginia Beach for either tomorrow or Sunday. Which would be pretty awesome if I could go tomorrow. It depends on how my day is going to go, though. Me? I'm going to be playing Minecraft. Dude, I'm surprised with how much. I'm going to be doing. Alright, what were y'all talking about? Player now? visibility. Like. In Black. In Call of Duty, Battlefield, any game. What do you mean, player? Like how visibility? how the player appears against the background? Like, do they pop to the eye or do they not? Okay, well, okay, well I, I think player visibility should be low. Like, I mean, well, not really low. Okay, you got to figure about it in real combat. If you if you if you're in real combat, are you gonna want something that stands out and pops, or do you want to blend in? I mean, it just goes back to the simple fact that when we was doing the RGT um, a couple weeks ago, or whatever, about how realistic games. Yeah, realistic like games. Like FPS is yeah. trying to be realistic. Yeah. That's it. I was about to go to that. Like, didn't okay. we talk about realistic games versus um, making the player what they want? Yeah. Well, see, I mean, if you're like on um, Black Ops with uh, Summit. You know, it's a snowy map, so a lot of people are running around with the snowsuits and stuff like that. But the thing with Black, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is that it really gets underneath my skin is either you're American with, like, shit that blends in, or, no offense, you're a black guy running around a t-shirt and jeans. I mean, come on. Seriously? I mean, that's not how it's going to be, for one. I mean, they're going to try and... <clears throat> do some improvement. I mean, the militia is, you know, <laughs> retarded, you know? Depends on which militia you're <laughs> I mean, fighting. Who the hell's gonna go into combat, run around with a pair of fucking jeans and flip flops and a t shirt? <clears throat> I mean, it's just, I don't know. They don't think about it and just. I think I, they I go know. by, they, I seriously do they, think they go by what they see in the movies. Uh huh. I seriously think they do. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, War at War, I'm sorry, was the best game that they came out with. I have to say, wait, what are we going basing off? Campaign? Multiplayer? I'm yeah, going based off of multiplayer. The guns? Modern are... Warfare 2. No. War at War. The guns no, let's are... go uh, campaign. As what far as gun campaign? balancing goes. Wait, 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 wait. 
The guns were good. Your sniper rifles were good. The shotguns wasn't OP. You know, you had a, a chance of thing. The only thing that was bad with it was second chance. But second chance, while you were still shooting them, you still had that opportunity to kill them. Because they would fall dead to the ground instead of black ops with that stupid fucking animation where they're falling to the ground so it makes them for the first two seconds they're invulnerable but yet they can still shoot their gun and it's not right at least with world at war yeah you did have second chance but second you chance bro for black ops yeah but it's just the but see the pro though was what my comparison is is in world at war when they fell in the second chance, they fell a second chance. It was like, boom, you're down. And if you're shooting them, nine times out of ten, people don't run around shooting just for the head. They usually shoot for the torso. So as you're shooting for the torso and they fall immediately in the second chance, it's a headshot. I mean, they really don't have a chance. And the gun pulling out wasn't as quick as it was as Black Ops. Black Ops and pulling out the gun? Mm. Yeah, I had videos on Black Ops where I recorded, and this dude was still pulling his pistol out. The animation was still showing him pulling his pistol out, and he was already. Oh, wait, shooting. wait, wait, wait! What about uh, Last Stand in Modern Warfare Two? That shit didn't. No, last... Okay, I have to. This is something that I complained to my friends oh. about during the Modern Warfare Two era. Why? Would they put and Final stand. stand and Last and, Stand yeah. in the same game? That is kind of overkill. But, I mean, you also got to figure, too. They're trying to benefit for the people who aren't good in the game. For the people who do, who do struggle. Like I said, they make games for the players, not for the realism. Exactly. It's to be just, honest, I'm one of those people that said, fuck, I don't give a shit about the You can't give every the player game. what they want. Mm -mm. No, you're not. Just like the discussion I had one time. I don't know if it was on RGT or if it was one of my friends. But, you know, <clears throat> I went and bought my Modern Warfare 3, waited in GameStop, got in my line, and waited. Came home and played it. Moved, puppy. Came home, played it, heard about the Elite stuff, so I paid my 50 bucks or whatever for my Elite. Only to be disappointed because of the initial fact was is that yes, you get new content before everybody else and everything, but but it's twenty that, times more buggy. Think about that one. It is that too, but you have to play it in core. Not everybody is a core player. Why do you think they put hardcore mode in there? Is for people who want a challenge to the game, and you're gonna drop playlists and everything like that, and it's only gonna be core, so it doesn't benefit to the hardcore people. Then the hardcore people has got to wait a month or two for the maps to actually get in the rotation of the old maps, and by then the people who can play both of them already know the maps really good and everything. And, you know, you go and play hardcore on them, and you get, like, fucking owned because you possibly don't know the maps because you didn't play core or you just didn't like playing core and you got frustrated and quit. So I literally sat down and, like, for two days did nothing but play core until I got good at core. And now I don't hardly like playing hardcore. The adjustment is of, weird as shit. It is. It is really weird and it's really hard because it depends on the game type. I usually play just uh, hardcore or free for all. I That's think we're just talking about Cole's team de team deathmatch here. Okay, because yeah. you're, okay. yeah. you're adjusting from free for all hardcore to hardcore or to to core, core free for all. Yeah. It's not too much of a difference other than you miss your radar. But yeah, that everyone just runs hey, on that radar would just kill. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people like me a lot of times rely on that radar. When it, whenever I don't have a radar, I do good. I concentrate fine and I do good. But the time that UAV throws up, it throws me off because I'm trying to pay attention to that every four second sweep of that fucking radar. Hey, in Modern Warfare 3, I think the number one kill streak that benefits the entire team is that UAV. That UAV will make or break the game, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, I don't know because when you play hardcore. Well, well I mean, I'm, I'm talking core-wise in Modern Warfare 3. 
Yeah. No, yeah, and core and core it kind of does benefit you because well, in core it doesn't benefit you because everybody knows that they're going to have a radar, they're going to do a UAV sweep and people are going to pop them off left and right. So a lot of people don't run cold blooded or whatever assassin and stuff like that they'll run quick draw and slide a hand because they want to be quick on a draw because it's core and you want to be able to get your gun up faster now people who play hardcore will run blind eye and assassin because they don't have to worry about that radar because they don't get thrown up that often and if they do nine times out of ten somebody on your team is going to have a stinger or a javelin or something like that and shoot that shit down now, when you play core, everybody, your your ammo on them games suck, okay? You go in to play core, and you get a, little, a limited amount of ammo, and, like, you burn through your ammo so fast. Like, you kill three people, your gun's empty. It's done. So you either have to run scavenger, or you have to run specialist to get the scavenger perk to go along with it. And then when you run specialist, you lose on your kill streak. And if you're running with a group of people, and three or four of them is running specialist, and you're only running on two, worrying on two people who are running actual kill streak reward, it makes the game ten times harder because you don't have that added support to help exactly. you win the match. I and, have this, played, and this adds me to what Battlefield 3 has so great about it. Med exactly. Packs, and ammo packs. Exactly. And you don't have to worry about the kill streak rewards. You got to rely on teamwork and communication and everything like that. You don't have to worry about getting five kills and dropping a missile on somebody and getting a uh, a four man with it. You know, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you you could be losing by four kills. Somebody drops a predator missile and kills four people and boom, you're tied. You know? Or somebody drops a stealth bomber and kills a whole bunch of people. That's the one thing that really sickens me is they put something like the stealth bomber on the support kill streak. So it gives people a reason to run support because you still get a kill. You never lose your shit. Just get eight kills back every stealth bomber. Exactly. They should have never put the stealth bomber in there. They should have put it support means support. UAV, counter UAV, SAM turret, things that support you. A bomber is not support. Didn't they put the Pavlo in there too? It is. No, Pavlo is still in your assault class. It's it's a lot higher though. It's 12 kills. It's in the same kill streak reward as an AC-130. How is that comparison? 12 kill streaks, you either get an AC-130 or Pavlo. Come on, it takes you twice. It takes you. What is it? It takes one, two, three. F it takes about three or four Stinger missiles to shoot down an AC-130. Four. <clears throat> you time a Pavlo shot with a Stinger missile. You time a Pavlo shot, a Stinger missile shot to a Pavlo just right, you'll get it in one shot. You let that motherfucker fly right underneath you, and you shoot that Stinger mm -hmm. off, it'll blow it up instantly. It's just. Yeah, it's, I don't get that. It's you're, not recording. It's not you're a going at the same velocity. It takes a, a very good amount of time for a missile of any sort to lose its velocity in any direction no matter what wind resistance resistance huh? if i shot your pavlo from the other side of the map i should get a one hit kill but if i go to a like if i stand over there it's like a two or three shot with my stinger even That's though it. there's no velocity change and seeing the other thing that gets me as well is like the attack helicopter. Yeah, it does have flares, but the Stinger missiles nine times out of ten does that not is exact. You read my helicopter. mind too. You seriously <laughs> sat up there and read my mind because I was about to say, can Black can Ops. Stinger missiles Black read no. even can no. even read no. heat no. signatures? <laughs> Stinger missiles are not supposed to. The only thing that can read that right now in the military that can that is designed to read heat signatures is javelins. Heat seeking missiles. It's heat seeking missiles and javelins. They have designed javelins that are designed to uh, seek out targets that actually have heat, and it will physically lock on that heat signature. So basically, it is a heat seeker, but the javelin will lock on to a heat signature. But the one thing about javelins is, and it's really cool, is, is that you can almost see through walls. Um, well, you can with the heat signature, or you can see inside the building with the heat signature. That is the one cool thing about a javelin. That's not the only thing. Is uh, as far it, as heat seeking goes in the military, there are AIM nines used by fighter aircraft, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's not portable. <laughs> I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking um, portability here. 
And the javelin is the coolest thing to mili- I'm, I, I, seriously, it, the javelin is the coolest thing the military has ever invented. It, it, it's portable, it's compact, it packs a shit ton of pi- firepower, and it's you know it's easy to change it out. You just pop a shell off and pop a shell back on, and then boom, you're ready to go in like two minutes. You can fire two javelins off quick, like with versus. I mean, granted, if you call in a helicopter, you got a you got a lot more firepower behind you. But if you're out somewhere and you got to call in air support, you got to wait 10, 15 minutes. And by that time, how many people could be dying by 10, 15 minutes? You got a buddy running around with a javelin on his back and shit like that. I mean, boom, you're ready to go. You can fuck AT4 shit up. Is AT4 is I don't. AT4 is a free fire weapon as it is. It's totally yeah, free fire. Is a free it's fire not weapon. supposed to be locked on to anything like it is in uh, Call of Duty. Exactly. In Modern Warfare 2, it's not. It just goes beep, yes, beep, 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 but it doesn't lock on. I've had it lock I've on. I've never before. had it lock on for me. AT4 will lock AT4? on. AT4? Yeah. yeah it, it locks it on and beeps um, and everything. You shoot an AT4 with a. Um, if you shoot a Pavlo with an AT4, all you see is smoke. If you hit. If exactly. You, I'm sorry. If you shoot a fucking Pablo with a damn AC4, <laughs> that's just gonna fuck some stuff up. That shit ain't gonna keep flying. I don't care how much armor they got on that. You gonna rock that son of a bitch, and it's it's it's. it's and think gonna about go this. I don't sorry. even know if I'm really supposed to be disclosing this type of information, but as far as the 50 cal rounds go that the snipers use in the Barrett M107 and the Barrett M82. Those rounds that they use are designed to penetrate the what kind of armor is are are designed to penetrate yeah. the armor of the M1 Abrams. Yeah, it's got a no, copper no. jacket. Those on things it, have it to tungsten in them. That oh, yeah, that's is it. a very bad day. If you if they can penetrate the armor of M1 Abram. A fucking tank, which armor is which the armor on it is basically equivalent to 24 inches of cold steel. Yeah. Um, but then you got a freaking heat warhead, which is I don't know how many times more powerful, which is coming out of pay, which is coming out of aircraft that's flying slow as I don't know what, and you hit it in the right spot. That thing ain't gonna be smoking and still flying. That the, those people in there are gonna be hair, teeth, and eyeballs. That's pretty much it. I don't know how how any other way to put it. Yeah, uh, it's just I, I don't know. I don't understand how they do that. I seriously think they pay attention to video I games too much. It. I mean, not to video games, to movies too much. Excuse me. Um, some of the missions that they had people going on in Black Ops in the campaign mode, I highly doubt they had missions like that. I very, very highly doubt that. Besides the one SR-71 mission, maybe I can under, I can probably understand that. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. What? I got me a new game today. <laughs> Plants that thing? Zombies. Yeah, dude. That game, yeah, dude. That game be dude, I think I can play that game for free online. Probably can, but it's not the same. I'm gonna pay like 70 bucks <laughs> for it. Hush! I forgot. And I got this really cool limited edition disco zombie. Really cool. He's gonna sit right here in front of my keyboard. I've got one limited edition thing, and it was Battlefield Halo. Three. Let's get on the topics of Halo here for a minute. I know nothing about Halo, <clears> so don't <throat> bring me into up. this. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you what. That's where I originally started at gaming on. I originally started gaming on Halo. And I'm telling you what, I was a beast at Halo. It was one of the funnest games I'd ever played. Um, it was just super fun. But I'm going to tell you what, after Halo... Let's see, I started on Halo 2, then I moved over to Halo 3, because I had an original Xbox. Um, 
whenever Halo 3 came out, you know, I was really good on that. And um, it was a fun game, but one of the problems that started occurring with it was, is I've actually, went, I went into my theater mode and watched it before. Um, people, when they started coming out with all these mods, I would stuck a guy three times in one game and my sticky grenade just completely disappeared on a dude. I mean, I literally watched it stick the dude in the face. I know he was blue screened and it just disappeared. And that's one of the things that really started bugging me on Halo. And then they came out with, uh, it came out with Halo 3 and then what else they came out with? I forgot how it went, but I had gotten them all, but it just, it was, it was Halo was like Call of Duty. It just slowly deteriorated and gotten worse and worse and worse. I got Halo Reach and I'm gonna tell you what, that was the worst Halo game I've ever owned in my life. I uh, gotta disagree with you on that one. Dude, Armor Long, granted it's great, but it is a fucking overused bitch class. It doesn't work, that's why I don't use it. One thing if you know you're about to get sticked Stick or stuck. by something, <laughs> stuck. stuck, whatever. Grammar's for the losers. <coughs> um, uh, if you, when you get stuck by, say, you, uh, like an elite or something, if you get it so it's on your weapon and you switch weapons, gone. No it reason. You, you're fine. It goes with the weapon. I mean, that's a really good game f thing for a game to have, but they could have done something out with that. Like, someone could glitch it somehow. I don't know. So that they have, like, infinite grenades or something. I don't know. There's some bold. Yeah, there's some bullshit things that you can do. Like, um, I remember the best way to rank up was. To go on, I don't remember what it's called. I think it is the first level in Halo Reach uh, for campaign. Play it on veteran with every single skull except for iron. And then um, you go to this one spot, grab this weapon, and then keep and then do it. Uh, it's the one the lock on weapon that shoots the missiles down. You know what I'm talking about, right, Probably Marcus? Not. <laughs> oh, no, his mic's muted. Um, but yeah. And you do that, and you get some 300,000 credits. <clears throat> and that's how everyone got their, uh, I don't, whatever their highest rank is. What was that? I don't know, something like that. you call. still here? Mark's just still here. Yeah, Bryce Smith. Yeah. Hello. So if you gotta oh, start no, talking, buddy. I don't know anything about what you're talking about, so I can't. <laughs> well, because we're talking Xbox, about Xbox, PS3, yeah. and so on, so mm. forth. Um, I hate people who talk shit whenever I go play Call of Duty with a passion. <clears throat> I get into a lobby, like it's just me and my buddies on fucking Friday, Saturday night. We go out, we go to play. Next thing you know, I'll run into this freaking clan that's got nothing but X's and Z's in their name, and it pisses me the fuck off. Mm hmm. And they're just in there, they're just talking shit like, oh man, look at the. They say a whole bunch of stupid shit, but, you know, next thing you know, come back around. If I got, a, if I got my team with me. Like, if I'm playing with the usual guys that I'm always playing with, then after that game, chances are we probably won. They will um, be talking shit. Then they're, yep, they start talking shit again. And then the next game, what they'll do is they'll start running some crazy kill streaks and they'll start camping. Which, you know, they'll wind up, they'll wing that game. Then they'll be all like, ooh, you know, that's why we beat you and crap like that. And I really just don't think that's cool. Like, I mean, I honestly have no problem with it, but don't don't take games that seriously. 
just you know if you want to go and ruin somebody's name ruin somebody's day just because you lost the game i mean it, i can understand if you were recording but even if you were recording you know you can go back and re-record it again got plenty of time that's what i do um Honestly, I've seen like we did today Ooh. with um, hardcore mode. Yes. Let's, we're not gonna talk about that. Johnny died. Johnny died I wonder him. why I died. Oh no, Alex! Fucking piss off. What are you guys doing playing hardcore mode we were, on uh, a server or something? No, we're a uh, single player competition. Uh, it's done now. It's the competition. Whoever dies first in um in a game same map. in Minecraft on Everything. hardcore mode. Same map, same spawn. Same, oh. same map, same spawn. Same everything. First one to die loses. And di Johnny died from a creature. It wasn't my fault. I was being chased, and then Alex called. By Alex. <laughs> I hate that there's so many fucking slimes on hardcore mode on Flatland. Or well, not hardcore. Because mode because if you dig down Flatland. far enough, it's actually right. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because you're at level three already, and since there's so many, I mean, it's infinite chunks, so. Like well, not infinite. Or, it's a very, not. very large amount. Is it um, not infinite? I thought it goes on forever. It's not. It's, um... Walking... Walking there was foretold to be a month or two of real life time. Um, to so get there. last chunk? Okay. So to basically, the very to the far last, To the very... Wow. Oh my god. The, what did you just say? I think I heard exactly what you said, but I need to understand what you just said there. Me? Yeah, what did you say? I said, so you have to get to the Farlands. <laughs> I've never heard of it being <laughs> called that. <laughs> oh, never heard what? Of the Farlands? Uh, patch 4.2. Why? Wait, what? That... Wow, we're all off, off different subjects. Patch 4.2 for World of Warcraft was called uh, Rage hmm. of the Firelands. The end of Minecraft is called the Firelands. Uh, I no. It was the end. <laughs> the end is something different. Like if you keep um, going, that you're thinking of the different end of Minecraft. We're talking about the end, as in the end of the world, where the last block is. Yeah. Like, there isn't a last block, but usually there's an ocean that oh, just no. goes on forever past that point. No, and it says, um, it says, uh... Are you, you serious? There's a sign border. that says that? Does it? From oh. No, not a sign. It, uh, it goes up in your chat. Like, you know how if you ever download mm -hmm. a mod like Millionaire or anything like that? Yeah, the, they can do that. I don't think any, anyone's ever done it legitly. I think they've used, like some sort of mod to teleport themselves to the Firelands, because basically it does take a, a Minecraft, Minecraft month? month. Dude, a Minecraft year is only four days. Yeah. I thought you were talking about a real month. That's what I heard, no, because the creator of Fortress Craft, which is the, the knockoff of it for Xbox, um, they, they said, the creator said, they asked, like, so how did you do your worlds different than Notch? He said, I made my worlds to a certain point of then it just uh, just falls off the face of the uh, earth. He, then he put that in quotes for some reason. Um, and that's how he did it. But, like, I don't understand, like, why Notch would put um, all that. Yeah. It would take you ten hours of walking straight just to get to the Farlands. I actually heard that ten the Farlands, like the actual yeah, border was border, was is actually bedrock. Just a big bedrock wall. That's not true. I wouldn't true. know. I just heard it. What? 
Seriously? Um. You guys got any other topics you want to talk about? Not specifically. Jordan? Marcus? Take that as a no. Uh, what other random topics should we talk about? Well, I guess while everybody's gone, I might as well throw this up there. Uh, subscribe to my channel, Johnny Rasco MC. Oh, well, YouTube.com slash Johnny Rasco MC. Hey. Uh, subscribe, like my videos, comment, uh, leave rates, cause I love the rates, love the rates. Hey, just put my link in that thing, because they'd probably spell my name all freaking Oh yeah, I'll definitely stuff, throw that so. in there too. Hit up my boy Marcus, <coughs> youtube.com slash Marcus New Roth. <laughs> Trying to get him finally famous, as far as myself. Yeah. Like six zero one, which act like he's too cool to do anything sure. to even help promote anyone's channel. Three hundred subs. I asked him if he could just make like subs. a quick video to like promote my channel, and he said no. More specific, he said capital wow. N O period. I'm trying to balance everything out between your, you and them because, I mean, they're my friends and everything, and I know them and stuff, and so I've been balancing and it out just fine, in my opinion. So we done with uh, RGT or something? Or I've so? finished all my topics that I wanted to talk about. I'm just wondering if you guys got any other topics you want to talk about. I don't know if anything. About. Not really. Nope. Is that all I want to talk about? I think that it is. Well, uh, follow me here, twitchtv.com. I'm if you're watching a live stream. Uh, we do RGT, Random Gaming Talk, every every Friday, or we try to do it every Friday at least, and I try to get it, get it uploaded every Saturday. Uh, I try to post at least two videos every day. I uh, wasn't able to do that this week due to uh, stuff. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys picked something up from it. Say bye, guys. I love you, man. Yeah, I love you, man. Penis. Leave input, babies. Leave input.